come back from the break, you're still watching Actim Talks, brought to you by Alliance for Finance Monitoring, the Political Finance Watchdog. And before we went for a break, we were discussing whether NUP has abandoned its official position in the way it engages in the politics of Uganda. And um, whether the context within which it's operating is determining how NUP should now, henceforth, move forward. With me, I have Henry Kastasha, but I also have Yusuf, um, uh, and we are live. You can, I, I encourage each one of you to really send in your questions and comments on Facebook, on, on, on our YouTube, we are live, and also on our Twitter handle, send in your comments and be able to answer them. Henry, um, as I wait for Yusuf to get back on set, you, uh, you, you are concluding your, your, conclude your, your points that I can now bring in Yusuf here. It's very critical to note is that um, much as we expect NUP to continue playing like they were not in government or they are not they were, they were, they were playing as activists they have now assumed a political a formal political role and a formal political role not by their own choice but by the legal framework of this country and what the country expects them to do, even what some of us promoting democracy expect them to do, is to use this political space and roles to advance their democracy and to advance this country democratically. So there is no, there is no turning back. Of course, because of our history, and this is very important, you can't discuss Uganda's politics without placing it in the context of the history. Because of our history, that has a very violent background. That I mean, even 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 the even the routine um, political engagements are so hostile. Even when people are talking to each other, they are so hostile. I'm sure that you all followed Bobby Wine many times, calling upon his people to stay within the law, not to not to go against the law, to remind people that we are not. We are, please, they are going to label us and and arrest us. They are going to label us and and find a way of, 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 of deflating our pressure. Please stay within the limits of the law. I mean, this is a culture that we need to build. This is a culture, I mean, you cannot have, you cannot have one presidential candidate campaigning in Kampala, in, in Kawempe, and another one is in Machindi. Why? Because you fear they are likely to crash and have violence. The mere fact that you have presidential candidates campaigning in a, one district per day, and you cannot allow two candidates in a given district, regardless of the size of the district. One cannot be at the extreme end while the other is at the extreme end. Why? Because we fear people like to fight. Because when two groups meet, they will fight. So because of this history, it is also responsibility to ensure that you protect your people by not simply playing to, 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 to the expectation that, you know, people expect noob to go against, to, to attack a police station, get some, somebody to do this, that's not the way. So I think that they, they have still maintained. They are very they are they are very committed. The activism, the activism, you do not expect a leader of opposition. I mean, even at one point, even Dr. West they had to, 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 to cut down on activism. So All even right. they have not changed. You you you've made your point. You've made your point. Um <laughs> Yusuf, you've had you've had Henry. Um Henry, Henry believes that NOPE is still on course. Um, nothing has changed. It's still the same NOPE. Uh, let me come to you here. Uh, first of all, you are of the view that, that NOPE changed. That the fire NOPE had before seems to have, have been put out. And the, everyone is asking who extinguished, who extinguished NOPE's fire, if I'm putting it that way. Okay, where did the disruptive fire go? No. So, you know, I, I, Henry, Henry is trying to sound like my friend Andrew Gunda. And Andrew Gunda used to say that you know, NOOP is very violent. You know, when you talk about activism in the past, within the law, you don't talk about attacking the first part. No, that's the vulgarized version of the process that Gunda was pushing. Which actually, when I was rhetoric, which led to the matter uh, of, of November, uh, what partly contributed to the matter of November 2018 by portraying NUP 
has bent on working after the law. This constitution we have, the 19th of constitution, allows in many different ways. If you think about simple things like wearing red suits every single day, wearing red berets every single day, challenging every single thing that government does in court of law, posing the kind of stuff that Malik Magidizi does, the kind of thing that uh, Isaac Simakade does, right? The kind of thing that Kakwenza is doing, those are things that were symbolic of people power, mm. right? Doing many of those things. So you don't, you don't want to take it to the extreme version of saying, uh, you know, they're going to attack a police force. Nobody is suggesting that. All the things that Kakwenza, Samakade, Mavidizi are doing, still are within the law. Even tweeting, as Isaac uh, Francis Zake did, are within the law. They are legal, right? There are so many legal avenues of protest that NUP has reneged on, that NUP has just talked on and abandoned, right? What's, what's violent about wearing a red suit? What's violent about re wearing a red berry? What's violent about being in court all the time on every single thing? Our kids were locked out. Our kids, young, without any single piece of science, were locked in their homes. Courts in Malawi, activists in Malawi, sued their government against lockdown. And the High Court of Malawi ruled in their favor, and there was no lockdown. What are the folks in this country doing? If you say they are promising fire and burning police stations, they're not, nobody is promising that. The Constitution is, has so many avenues. You know, Bobby Wine lost so many avenues of protest. I wrote, I'm not writing. If you read Article 20, 23 of the Constitution, I think Section B, I'm not like, I need to check it up right now. It's, it's very clear calling for assembly in protest. You know, when this man was locked up, was locked up in his house under house arrest, right? He didn't have to go to appeal to be locked open to, to, for the, because he was illegally detained in his house. He had to just keep him there, right? Allow the illegality to continue, right? So the, 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 the extreme version of portraying people power and those in the voters who really want to sort of disrupt the forces, if you portray them as, as, as advocates of violence, no, that, that's, the, that's the extreme version. That's the Andrew Mwenda kind of speech that, you know, that calls for a vibrant response from the state and becomes just five. But it's extreme. But let's go back a bit. If, if you look at the profiles of the people uh, in parliament voted for as NUP, you need to profile them, right? Against those that they stood and kicked out. If the voters wanted debaters, if the voters wanted policy analysts, if the voters wanted meticulous uh, accountants to go line by line and check for cases of, of, of waste of spending of resources. If the voters wanted that caliber of people to stand on the floor and speak very good English, they would have sent those parliaments. Maybe I just want to come in. Most of the losers, most of the losers say Nikki Constantine. Every person is there. We ask a simple question. You too. Far better credentials by the successful candidate. Yusuf, right? yes. what did the voters want? You just you read the profiles of the successful candidates. No, 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 no. What did the voters want? That's what I want. I'm, that's what I'm saying. You read the profiles of the successful candidates. You see a pattern. You see a pattern. You Which have profiles have you read of the successful candidates? Oh, look, look. Uh, there's a guy called Nyeko who beat a very credentialed uh, debater. There's Malende who beat a very credentialed academic. Uh, Seguinia beat that uh, who's more educated than he was. There's a, there's a woman who stood as a councillor in, in Kalangala, was even voted when she didn't even really campaign for a single day. They didn't even know how she looked like. Nyeko was congratulating his voters and they were asking, Who are you? They had no idea who he was. And, and, and they had, and they had seen his profile? And they had seen his profile? They had seen his profile? They didn't even care how you he looked You are contradicting yourself. Yusuf. Yusuf, 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 hold it, hold it, hold it. If you tell me to look at Nyeko's profile yeah. and you're telling me they voted for him without knowing who he was, then yeah. how did Nyeko profile himself? The, the issue of profile him. had no issue. Exactly. He profiled himself as people power. The only no. Thing he, had he had no people I, power. I, I, he, I, he, I, no profile. I, in, I, the, the point is, if he's making it. If you want to understand the profile of Malende, you want to understand the profile of Segirinya. You want me to read about their profiles and why they made it through. And, you, and people, you are telling me that people voted Nyeko and they didn't know who Nyeko was. Then Nyeko did not profile himself. He positioned himself in the way that was coming. 
That's now, now you're coming around. Okay. That's a good point you've made of, of positioning, right? Okay. Positioning yes. against the wave. A wave doesn't listen to credentials of a person. A wave can even work for a Jerrican. And a wave, wave is unreliable. Yeah. It cannot yes. come back. No, 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 no. It can be Okay, but, 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 but yeah, but, but let's 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 bring let's Wait, let's keep this. this I mean, I mean, right? Political project and political movement. Political movement. Let me let me explain. Let me. Explain. There is no political movement in this country. Sustained political party. They they are meant to pursue a political project, and that fact is successful or failed. They are meant, but that was not what they were doing. Yeah. Whoa, 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 let me explain. Let me explain. Let me explain. We gotta go back to this really quickly. They are meant to ex ex focus on a political project. And after the political project is done, they either die in success or in failure. I can guarantee you people people had to die. People power had to die even after defeating in seven. Even if they defeated themselves successfully, they had to die. So it was a suicide mission for people power. You either die in victory or you die in defeat. Now they are dead in defeat. People power was not a movement you're talking about. Yeah, but 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 uh, uh, Yusuf, uh, Yusuf, just 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 to, to come back to you on that one. When you say they are dead in defeat, they, they didn't just die. What happened? Because um, who is who has actually put out people power? Who has put people power out of action? Let me put it that way. If you say it is no, out no, of action, no. you say death. Death doesn't mean somebody has to kill you, right? <laughs> of course, uh, I it means, it means you, literally, literally so, use it. Yes. Look, po political. So there are two things. There's a political party and the political movement, right? Political movements pursue particular political projects. And mm. political movements, by their nature, are suicide missions. But, but you still, right? you still. Can, you can still. I, let's, can I, let me finish just an understanding. Wait, let, let, let him finish. Let him finish. Mm. They, are, they are political movements. Wherever they've been, right? Wherever they've been, political movements are a wave, as expanded. And waves are not, are not known for being peaceful. <laughs> waves are violent. Uh, they're violent in that moment, and after that moment, so the political project for power was defined very categorically as removing a dictator, right? Now, after the political project is pursued, it either succeeds or fails. Now, after it is failed, the actors have to transform themselves into something else, right? And so what we have failed to appreciate is that the movement called people power pursued a particular political project, which is removing a dictator, for which they failed. Now they have to reform themselves and turn themselves into something else. They have turned themselves into a political party. Now, the moment they become a political party, they become like a traditional political party. FDC, DP, or UPC. And we know the fate of political parties in this country. They are in a shambolic state. They are struggling. They are internally disruptive. They are internally fragmented. That's the fate of political parties, right? So the movement. The movement was the promise. The voting was based on the movement. I can guarantee you, if Bob Wayne had become president, he had to govern through the movement system that in seven came with in 1986. Because he had to form coalitions of people to govern. You know, I, I don't know if any Ghana has ever taken them to think about how was Bob Wayne going to govern after he, he, he was successful as president. He had, he had to remake people power into something else. He quickly did that before the election, and that was the beginning of his failure. You know, Yusuf, let me, okay. let me just say this. Let, let me come in on this one. Okay, please, come in. And, 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 and uh, people power was not a movement. It was an idea that could grow into a movement. People power had not reached any movement by any standards. It was an idea that started as a wave that had the opportunity to grow into a movement, which opportunity were, were, were cut short. A movement cannot start in an elective season. People power was an election wave. They had no idea. It, 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 I mean, the, the, the potential of becoming a political movement was there. The potential of, of remaining a wave was there. And for us to assume that people power was a movement, we are making that conclusion too soon because it did not have any elements. All these people were still coming together. You remember what when is people power now? Sorry? What is people, people power, power now? What is, what no, is people power now? 
People power is an idea that has been championed by Bobby Wine, that has been championed by Dr. Besiji. The idea of mobilizing Ugandans to stand up and do what they all believe in. Dr. Besiji tried it. He had not been so successful. Bobby Wine came with his vigor and dynamism. It also got more, more, more weight. And along the way, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was, it lost, it, it, it got lost in the election. They focused on what side, what, what slogan is going to be on the ballot paper. Why we have the umbrella, and they have made this one very public. They chose the umbrella because their people are going to get confused. And, the, and we, we use symbols because our people have been illiterate in this country since the 60s. So the idea that this wave, which had the potential of becoming a political movement, was actually a movement, is premature. It's too early to conclude that way. It was a wave that people were still jumping on board, and along the way, they had to go for an election, they had to have candidates, they had to have processes, they instituted ad hoc processes. I mean, an ad hoc people instituted processes that were even being challenged internally, but because there was a wave. But the movement would not work like that. So don't conclude by saying people power is a movement that lost it. No, if people power had the potential of becoming a political movement, but it lost that track, it lost that opportunity because of an election and because of, of so many factors. So today when we say that the movement has died, it was not there in the first place. It is still an idea, it is not dead. Henry, I'm, I'm okay. struggling to understand the distinction between an idea and a movement, right? I, I, you're not making that very clear. <laughs> Because movements are moved by ideas and political projects. Yes. I don't know. If you, I don't know if you can integrate in your in your analysis the idea of a political project, right? The idea of a project which is going to be achieved at the end of this. You know, like yes. I know, you, if you look at if you look at a country such as Pakistan, if you can call it a political idea, that's a country which has stood its time, right? So I'm struggling to understand your theoretical understanding of political ideas, political movements. The theoretical understanding. My, my sense of movement, my, my sense of movement is that movements are defined by projects. Right? Yeah, movements is a project, yes. Movement is a project. And mm. we had a project with the, um, the people for our way. Like, I'm wondering why you insist it's an idea which never became, because they have to have no, an no. idea. It's and an idea. Uh, but oh, gentlemen, let's, let's come back here. Okay, um, this whole whether it's a movement or or, or a wave, we, we can have that discussion um, until the roosters come back. But but the issue is in the current situation of where Loop is now. Um, if if you are if you are Bobby Wine, for instance, how how do you? Let me start with this issue. Who really believes that somehow along the way, um, um, Loop has lost it. How, if, if you are Bobby Wine, how would you get out of this situation? No problem. Practically. Hmm? Uh, so internally, it's, it's extremely fragmented. And for obvious reasons, you know, when people get into parliament and they start enjoying the pack, uh, they get undue weight. Uh, they get corrupted by the, a lot of cash in parliament, uh, which is flowing here and there. So he has no cloud. I think what when we talk now, I think what we could have a uh, sway over maybe about five or ten MPs after the mini number he has. Uh, but how do you get this out? He has to rebrand. So it's just one simple project. He has to rebrand people power, right? If he wants to sustain. But political moments then be very fluid, right? So we could have new centers of power very quickly. It, it, it is not that he is the alpha and omega. He doesn't have like a grand a grand ideology that he has to keep reproducing. He's, he's a child of a political moment. Bob Wine gets born at that moment of political party disintegration, right? So FDC was in shambles, had just split, uh, and UPC is almost inexistent. DP was in the middle of a major strife. So on, on, the, on the ruins of political party, on the ruins of DP, FDC, uh, people power emerges, right? And the people in Kampala, the people in the central region who interact with the mess of the state every single day are obsessed by one single idea. And people power was able to define that in its time. That was removing Mr. Museveni, ending Anatokosa. That was a major political idea around which 
uh, major political project around which people power was wound, right? And on the ruins of political parties, it emerged as a movement mobilizing all the different players and the different political parties to come with, to coalesce efforts and achieve overthrowing an autocracy, right? And if you remember very well, in its birth, Bob Wine was such a kingmaker in the sense that he was looking for excellence, talent, quality. So he would go to Virginia and support an FDC candidate, right? He would go to, he would go to Northern Uganda in Arua and support, uh, rather in, in Bujiri, supported the Jema candidate, he supported mm -hmm. an FDC candidate in, our, in the North, right? That, that was the kind of dream, ending an autocracy through picking the best of our progress to confront the autocracy and challenge it, right? So when he, he becomes one of the dead political parties, one of the ruinous political parties. So we have many dead political parties. We have FDC struggling, uh, EDP, which is broad in a dangerous political wrangle. We have uh, UPC, which is non-existent. And then you have the NRM, which is also like properly on the verge of disintegration. The only difference that it has the guns and the money, right? So then you have NUP. So the political condition in this country is that all political parties are in a mess, right? So the wrangles you see in DP represent a political condition. The wrangles in DP are so subdued in the NRM because they are in power. They can throw money here and violence here, right? When you move to the NUP, they are struggling to hold the party together. Because one, look, one of the folks they, 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 they gave a uh, position went against one of their own. When they were voting for the deputy speaker, all of them voted for the NRM candidate. Mm. You know, that's strange. So they are struggling to keep themselves together. Same with the FTC. The FTC is now in some sort of a stalemate, doesn't have this fight because I think it's now trying to review itself. It's, there's only one way out of this for Bob Warren. Just if he is to do it, he has to find ways of repackaging himself. Okay, but you know, five years is a lot of time in political movement, political moments tend to be super fluid and super fast. We could have new people leading a new movement, right? You saw, I mean, the Kakwenza story was really fascinating that after his torture, even Bobby Wine felt compelled to associate with Kakwenza Richard Rosalia. In effect, in a small moment, Kakwenza Richard Rosalia became the leader of the opposition. That the facts of the opposition, if you can call power to account. In effect, in that moment, even Bob Wine had to find legitimacy from associating with whichever side. Right? So this is how political moments are. Today you're the kingmaker, the next day you're somebody else, unless you are able to sustain your constant effort of repackaging. So Bob Wine is in a difficult position right now. He has to repackage himself to be seen as representing the ideals of the people in Kampala, whose project political project is only one in the moment which is ending the autocracy, right? This is why if even he put that a Jerrican, that Jerrican is my candidate, it was voted, right? Even candidates who pulled out after nomination day, but their names remained on the ballot, even if they did debate campaign for a single day, they were voted by over the majority. Right? If you vote for a candidate who didn't even campaign, overwhelmingly, it tells you something. It doesn't matter who that person is. All we want from them is if they can stand up. And this is the thing that some of us have been saying all the time. What if for anybody, even if they can sleep the entire time but wake up and vote? They can sleep for the entire time but wake up and commit violence. Okay? So this is this is the political condition in which we operate. Now, my problem for me, uh, the problem for me is political players trying to assume we are under uh, say UK political dispensation, right? Where you have Labour and Democrats, where you have Labour and, and the Tories. And then they can sit at the table, discuss and agree, right? If you saw under COVID-19, even the ministers of Mr. Seven were not consulted. The trade minister, Amelia Chambedi, would come to listen to Mr. Seven's address. This is the minister of, of, of trade and industry, would come to listen to Mr. Seven's address, address, not knowing what the man was going to say about his ministry. And then you have my friend, Matthias Impuga, thinking this is the man you can sit down and write a paper and give him and he can adopt it. No, no, it's okay. like they were born yesterday. The man doesn't listen to his ministers, and you think you listen to leader of opposition. You know, right. you know, right. um, Henry. Let let me. Okay, I, yes. I'm seeing you disagreeing. Let me leave you, give, give you a your, your chance here now to, to come in. Yeah, you see, a couple of things: mm. an idea, a wave, and a movement. 
we use them interchangeably depending on where we are in our arguments and we get lost. We had a time when we had the late Hajj Sevagara. It took us more than 12 hours to live in Tebe to Kisasi. That was the time when Haji was Haji. We had the slogan of Haji Alagidi. When, when Sevagara was thrown off the ballot paper, Haji Nalagida, we all went, people went for, for, doc, for Dr. BCJ. We had a time when Dr. BCJ was everything. What he went through was because of what he had been able to inspire in Ugandans. So the, uh, if, if Bobby Wine has been able to, to come and be the one of the moment, you see, a movement does not live in a moment. A movement is eternity. In U UID had the slogan, the struggle is our life. It is not a moment that Bobby Wine, grab your moment. It is now, if you don't grab it now, you lose it. The support, the way the people have been showing, they showed Seba Gala in 1998. I was in Makerere. They showed, they showed Dr. Messiji for the last 20 years. They have shown Bobby Wine. There are people who voted for Bobby Wine saying, Katwe Kumanu Moto, The idea has been around. It is the person at the right moment to appear at that time. It has never been a movement. That is why it ends up this way. The other issue is that, that when you talk about tweeting, going for litigation, going to do this, I have personally told FDC, if, doc, if, if, if the right Honorable Mbabazi had not gone to court in 2016, we would not have a judgment that would compel the Attorney General to present to court a progress update on the reforms. Mm. So you use litigation as part of the advocacy. You continue through all the available means. There are people in the, in the opposition who have told me, Henry, the courts cannot remove a dictator. Who have told me parliament cannot. I've, I've talked to, I talk to MPs who tell me parliament cannot do anything. We are just in parliament. We cannot change anything. And I have also told them, Yusuf has also said, use the available platform to 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 active to 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 do the activism. Let the people expose what you call the dictator. To, to so if the Mpuga is the leader of opposition, if Mpuga is the leader of opposition, Mpuga is well aware what can go through parliament. And don't assume. And we also we also make a very big assumption that the people in the NRM are all dead. There are things that start within the opposition that create opinion within the NRM. And sometimes the NRA may change a course, not because of pressure, but because this issue has begun influencing internal opinion internally. So the space that you see people using now, when somebody is leader of opposition, it does not mean they are going to engage in discussions and winning over and what have you. No, this is a struggle. Use the available space to expose what you call the dictator. Use this opportunity to expose the nakedness of the dictator. When Dr. West just started walk to work, and I want to use your very examples, when Dr. West just started, and the violence that was meted on Dr. West, nobody could believe it. We have seen these photos of people being tortured, this man from Kasese and Kakweza. Even the NRM people have been saying, not in our name. This is not what we stand for. Now, if you expose these elements, you, you further the struggle for democracy. But you don't have to assume that you have to abandon all this space because you want to show to 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 and and the other thing i want to caution and also advise and bring to your attention i work with political player parties and uh, let me share this example in 20 uh, before the last election we were in arua there was an fdc meeting which i was going to facilitate and the hotel locked out everybody they told us the police had not cleared Cassiano wadri Cassiano Wadri called IGP Kale Kaihura in my presence and told him our meeting is being frustrated. And Kaihura told him, no, 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 Kadri, we are going to work on that. Somebody's going to get back to you. Within the next one hour, we had a clearance letter on WhatsApp. So when you talk about people using, going do activism, protect, think about the way people are using, are using their offices and power. There is too much violation of the enshrined rights already. 
So don't assume that people will be reckless and take people to a demonstration when they're going to be destroyed. It will not serve anything. Julius Nyerere said that if politics is about anything, it should be about protecting life. So when you look at, when you realize the situation is not, 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 not favorable to protect your lives, please don't think that people are just going to walk in naked and walk in. For the last couple of months, we have not had anybody being abducted. People have been abducted. The others so, have been released. So, so Henry, you are saying that Noob is being tactical on this one. Uh, I am saying it is just one, Noob, Noob is being realistic to the realities. Number one. Number two, Noob has not slowed track. Noob is not struggling to come together, to to hold together. No, Noob is just coming together. I mean, people who are coming together cannot be struggling to hold themselves together. Noob has people who have walked in from all sorts of life. They have they are yet to have an internal co cohesion. Now, no, in that point of defining the cohesion, Henry, you cannot accuse them of pulling up. Just what if they are on that one? Because I'm yeah. going, there's, a, there's a question that came in, and, and, and there have been arguments that probably there are people who cross from other parties to know to take yes. advantage of the wave. Possible. Uh, but they, they didn't necessarily carry the spirit of the spirit and the character of Noop. Yes. So could that be the problem that presents Noop with what I would call a dual personality? You see, when you're dating, when you begin dating a girl, you can ask her for coffee. She accepts. When she comes to the coffee, it does not mean she's going to marry you. You'll have coffee, you'll have visiting, you'll have this. And at one point you say, I think I should stay with this man. So when people have crossed over, some came with their expectations. Others were simply looking at direction. Others thought maybe they were they, they had no space within their own political parties. And they need to be to get into Noop and understand Noop. So it is incumbent upon Noop to ensure that all those people who have just come in, don't assume they are all totally converted. Some were running away from fire, others from rain, others from beatings. And it, there must be a process internally to ensure that these guys make fully commit. You can cohabit with a woman and a man and, and eventually don't get married because when you cohabited, you realize that maybe this man is even a witch doctor or a night dancer. I'd rather go back to my old ex and I call my ex again. So what you are seeing today, what we are seeing now, and this is why I want to tell you that all these processes had the potential of generating and leading us into a movement. How it is being steered, the steering is very critical. The role of uniting the opposition is very critical. Whoever, who, whatever role you play, is very critical. I mean, the dynamics that we are now seeing the parties attacking each other is because of leadership challenges. Who is steering the boat? So we must be able to appreciate the realities under which these parties are operating. Number two, let us not be, let us not rush to conclude that people power had become a movement. This, this, this pressure has been here since the days of Haji Seva Gala. It has just been one moment to the other. People, who, well, there are people I know who said, we are going for Bob Wine. Onomana katiyalika masanyalaza gakuba. The moment they realize that masanyalaza gamu they will go somewhere else. So it is, if you are living in a moment, people who have led movements have not lived in moments. That's why they can they can die and the movements will continue. So the the, the issue is that we distinguish a wave, and I want to maintain that in this country, for the last. 16 years, we have had a waves. A wave comes at a given moment. If it finds you on the right side, you sweep in. Mubarak Munyagwa won overwhelmingly in Kawempe. In the last election, he has lost totally. 90% he lost. People voted for him because they had the key. I met a councillor in Guru who after nomination lacked money to make posters and he went out of the campaigns. He didn't notify the electoral commission. But when people were voting for the key, the man was voted. He was in a bar somewhere. They called him that you are winning. He had never campaigned even one single day. So you cannot tell me that that person is part of the movement. It is just a wave that at that material time, he had the key. Now, the, the, the symbol now was the umbrella. Now, if we can move in that manner, the umbrella may not make sense in the next five years. It could be another symbol of somebody who has the electricity. Okay. 
All right. Thank you so much, Henry. Um, uh, we, we are past the hour. I'll borrow another extra uh, five minutes um, to bring this to a close. Let, let me come to you, Yusuf. Um, you, you've, had, you've had Henry. But, but some have argued that probably Noop, is it probably Noop punched above its weight? That the expectations are immense on it. You see the promise that we are removing the dictator, Chigwera, Antebe, Mutebe, it created immense expectations that probably Noop promised what it couldn't deliver. It could not be suffering from its over-promising. Now, no, it, it, didn't, it didn't promise anything above its way. It, it should be commended for what it did. Uh, and it did what it did and it ended. And people power died, right? We are now struggling over its burial. Uh, whether it should be kept on life support or not. And, and I think that's the problem we have now. It, 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 any, uh, people power in its time did what it had to do. And it did it in the time allotted to it, and it finished, right? So what we are witnessing now is the struggle to find a new way, to use Kasacha's word, to find a new way, a new leadership, a new mobility, uh, and, and that's, that's what movements are, right? If you go back in this country, what Henry is calling a wave, and the idea of a movement that people come together, define a political project, and pursue it. And once that political project is either successful or failed, the people disintegrate, they could repackage themselves, or other new people can come in. So we have a, we have a persistent political project in this country. That is ending an autocracy, right? It's a political project at the heart of so many people. And we have had political players and political projects emerge, political movements emerge to promising to end it, and they fail. And then a new player emerges. From, if you could take from Kasacha's examples, I mean, from Hajina Santa Gisela Gala, and you come to Kiza Vestia. And Kiza Vestia should be created the most, you know, prolific political player on, on the Ugandan scene because he's so attuned to constantly repackaging himself and resurfacing as something else. And that's something he has wonderfully done, right? Right now, I think he's lost a bit of steam, but he's still so good at repackaging himself into a new life to, on, uh, on one single political project. So we still have our political question. When do we, when does Museveni Tokras come to an end and how is it gonna to come to an end? Every people, every person in the center of this country who constantly interact with the mess that the civilian government is, have this at the back of their mind. They are struggling to find ways of ending this sort of thing, right? And whoever will ably package themselves as able to do it in this moment, they will support them. Now, when seven beats them hands down, the people are cool and they start to find new new avenues, new ways of defining them so that they can continue on the same political project, right? Right now, uh, three years ago, Bobby Wine emerged, maybe more, five years ago. Bobby Wine emerged as the, the promise, the guy who can mobilize a movement, define, redefine this political project, and persuade us on how to end it, to achieve it. And I remember, I, I said plenty of times, it ends in 2011, that either there's victory or defeat, but it will end. There's victory or defeat in 2011, uh, 2021, and it ended in defeat, right? He didn't punch above his weight. He made a contribution in that political moment, in the, in the discursive space that he had, uh, mobilizing and calling people to go pick their voters' cards, pick their IDs, uh, be conscientized to see themselves as, the, as their moment is now. Be the ones leading the movement. He played a major role in that moment. He played a major role. Right now, we are still wondering, should he continue or not? The, the guy is, the movement is dead completely, but we're still struggling because, you know, the attachment remains. You can see Henry here, it is confusing. He sounds like he knows people power so well. He also sounds so distant from it. Right? He sounds like he's so close to people to NUP, but when you listen to him closely, like he's so so distant from it. Right? He says some of the common, common, common things you find people on the street who know 
correlate with people power. No. Inside, there's not much more. I've spoken to inside, there's been not much more. But Henry, I was like, he's into the deep circles of a new people. Then when you listen to him, it's a distance, right? So it's confusing to me how to think about Henry's submissions, especially on the, on the idea that the movement is forming. I think Henry has a dream that at some point there will be a movement. There's a point where the movement will be fully formed. Now, that at near the school of political movement, I don't know where that ever happened, right? Political projects can stay. By the time when at some time they are forming, then a movement will be fully formed. No, that's not there. <laughs> Never happened. No, you, you, right? you see, you see, you it's, see, it's a, it's a constant renewal. It's a constant you see, renewal. You Right. And, and, and I say what I'm saying, not as a political player. You get lost in the, in, the, in the theory, you are misusing the concepts, and you assume that a dictatorship oh, is going to end on a given day. Gentlemen, gentlemen. What, I'm telling you, what I'm telling you is that to, to, to qualify a process, to qualify this wave to turn into, to, to label it a movement, as a scholar of movements, I think what you should do, you should write a paper using your theories of a political movement and then begin looking uh, at Henry, these Henry, processes. Henry, 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 you see, you see, as a scholar Henry. of political movements, what okay. I expect is, I don't expect a scholar to conclude on a wave to call it a movement. Okay. Then I don't yes. understand how to use the concepts. Because what I'm doing is that is if you say the movement is dead, if the movement is dead, I've given you a historical perspective from the times of Haji Sebagala. We have had Dr. Vesiji. You have credited him for holding it up to this time. You are now saying it is dead. So is Serunkuma going to, you cannot give birth to, you, something can't die before it is born. Whatever the processes we saw had the potential of driving this country into a movement. And that movement would begin dismantling what you call a dictatorship, step by step. A building a dictatorship is not a, not a one-day event. What you call a dictatorship is beyond one person. So you must be able to build a movement that will have a thinking that will move in that direction. So when you begin labeling, you see this, 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 this Arab Spring wave thinking that a wave can come and sweep and change the dynamics. What has happened elsewhere is, is, is what you're trying to think is a movement. It is not. I want to tell you that a wave is not a political movement. And for you to say people power movement is dead, I say it is not. The idea that people have always had and still stand together for uh, uh, Uganda they want is still alive. It is not dead. Okay. And you have, to be, you have to be alive to the realities under which it, 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 it metamorphoses. All right. Um, um, in, very interesting yeah, perspectives. Um, movement, wave, and where we are as a country. Um, uh, two interesting gentlemen here. Uh, uh, this are green, but the concept is here that uh, whether Noop is at the helm of the movement or at the helm of the wave, the issue is uh, what we're discussing, not to lose point, is whether this party that is in parliament is still appealing and representing the interest of their voters. As we come to the end of this discussion, I'm going to allow uh, each one of you parting shots so that um, we can carry this discussion forward on social media. Very interesting. Let me start with you, uh, Henry, your parting shots. Well, my parting shot is that uh, we are in a process of building political uh, processes, uh, deepening and building institutions. Um, many of our institutions are struggling to, 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 to live up to expectations. Uh, we are judging them too soon. You think that after one year we can judge and say you have failed. Politics does not change like that. I think that um, we, should not, we should move away from living in moments if you are to build this country. We must be able to have, to have a long-term kind of thinking in whatever we do. Politicians who come and live within moments lose it immediately after the first, uh, first, 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 first plug. I also think that uh, uh, many people are still trying to comment on all these processes, but they are very far and very distant, to, to use Zeru Kuma's words. 
they they are commenting and they are very distant and they they, they, are, they are not coming to the realities they look at the theory so far and the uganda is a bit different i think we need to to invest more in understanding what exactly is going on before we conclude even the donors have made mistakes in this country in terms of supporting our democracy so the politicians the donors the voters it is a big process and we should use all available means i thank you very much thank you so much uh yusuf your parting shots I don't know if this it remains one of my very difficult questions. Every time I'm asked for parting shot, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I have no parting shot. I think this is an ongoing conversation. Uh, you know, Henry and I have this country at heart, and and I think we 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 think we deserve better in the ways in which we govern, and and I think we we are disagreeing on the methodology and how it should how the achieved, right? And Henry there leads an, an organization which market itself as democratic, right? like you're the ED of uh, dialogue and democracy, is it? Correct. Uh, and and my, my problem with all democracy are enthusiasts and activists is that they, there's a mismatch on how to operate under an autocracy when you champion democracy, right? The political terrain is clearly autocratic. Uh, and you remain as civil as possible could in championing democratic means, right? And I tend to think strongly that, you know, the language of democracy is the ways in which uh, our control reproduces itself. The ways in which, first of all, colonial comprador, such as Muslim colony, reproduces itself, and also the ways in which our former colonizers continue to fill our roots with the language of democracy. We live under a clear cut autocracy, and I think all democracy, democracy uh, action uh, need to, you know, consider strongly how do you pursue uh, democratic ideals and a clear-cut autocracy, which, interestingly, reproduces itself through the, the technocracy of democracy, right? An autocracy which is a, a elected five times, so when it's said, well, zero. That, you know what type of dictator is me? A dictator voted by time? You know, so if you live under an autocracy that is expert driven under a technocratic autocracy, which has so ably managed to reproduce itself through the avenues funded and sponsored by democracy, that's a different autocracy. And our thinking has to be attuned to the ways in which modern autocracy reproduces itself. Thank you so much. Wow, uh, very interesting discussions. Um, I'm, I'm be, being encouraged to let this show run, but no, uh, we were supposed to be here for an hour. I've borrowed 20 minutes. We can carry this conversation on our social media platforms. Probably we'll have part two of it, but I was joined. It's been wonderful to have this discussion with you. Um, Henry uh, Kasasha, who is the Executive Director of Dialogue and Democracy Training Center. I also had with me Yusuf Serunguma, who is a scholar and, and a PhD graduate fellow at Macquarie University Institute of Social Research. We've been discussing uh, no Felix, book. Felix, a quick uh, one. Yes. I, I have a book which is going to be out in the next uh, three months. Oh, there's a book coming out this week. But there's a book specific discussion called An Autocracy of Expert. It will be in the bookstores in the next few months. An Autocracy of Expert. Wow. We'll look uh, forward to that. Yeah. So. Sure, we look forward to that one. Um, I grab a, I grab a copy of it. Um, yeah, so um, and I myself, Felix Kafuma, was moderating today's very interesting discussion. Till next week, bye bye, stay safe. Thank you very much.